Today, 26-year-old Julian Henry appeared in the Belmopan Magistrate's Court to answer to a charge of manslaughter by negligence in the shooting death of his friend, 21-year-old Daniel Oriano. The incident occurred on Friday night in the Las Flores community when a shotgun licensed to Henry allegedly discharged and caught Oriano in the neck and face, and he died on the spot. Attorney Dickie Bradley says it was clearly an accident. It is uh, one of those shocking things, but accidents do happen. This is clearly an accident. This is an accident for which there were witnesses that it's a fact that Julian Henry has a licensed shotgun. It's not a pistol, it's not a 9mm, this is a shotgun. He was having problems with the shotgun. Minutes before he and his friends were to take off on Friday evening to go hunting many miles into the bush, there was somebody that came to the side of the house. You could not see who it was because the Aluminum windows were closed, and where Julian was standing, he turned around, and there is an elevation and a drop. The way the floor is built, and in fact, he turned around when the person had shouted, and that his other friend was heading to the door when the elevation caused him to stumble and the jutted shotgun gone off and instead of the one sole slug going up in the air it hit the person in the back of the head from a side side angle they are witnesses and they gave their statements to the police so the police does know that that basically is what happened even up to when they arrived Julian was like out of his mind that something like that could have happened. They testified to that in the summary of the police facts that he was hysterical. The shotgun was right there. The charge bears out the fact that the police are satisfied and they consulted with the learned director of public prosecution who from the little information available was also satisfied and she directed that the charge should be manslaughter by negligence. The charge is a bailable offence and not an offence under the Firearms Act, but the magistrate nevertheless did not grant bail and remanded Henry to prison. Attorney Dickie Bradley says similarly to the manslaughter by negligence case involving Jasmine Hartin, who is out on bail, Henry should have been afforded the same, but instead his client is being punished for an accident. Curiously enough, Julian was detained in police custody from Friday evening, which would mean that he had to sleep in less than satisfactory conditions Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. The Constitution says that you must bring somebody to court no later than 48 hours. So he was brought today, and you will be sleeping in another unpleasant and unsatisfactory situation until he makes an application to the Supreme Court to uphold his right to bail and to his freedom. Dwayne Moody for News 5.